what we got going on here is uh, this tree blew over two years ago in a windstorm and uh, it got frozen on the ground and with the, bu the butt of the stump way in the dirt um, and we weren't able to pull it out of there was ice on the ground um, so we weren't be able to pull this out without uh, ruining a good log so we're back in here uh, we never got in here last year uh, we had some issues but uh, we're gonna be there's a I picked up the one already and then this is the second one I got to cut down here and uh, get this out of our woods it's actually some really nice fall to maple right now Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new, uh, please subscribe and follow for more sawmill and lumber content. Uh, today we're going to be uh, picking up all these uh, blowovers from a storm that happened two years ago. There's two stumps here. This is the first one. This one was uh, left on purpose because so much of it was frozen to the ground that uh, even if we would have cut it off, we wouldn't probably have been able to pull it out. And we were hoping they would have stood straight back up all the way. This one didn't. Uh, the first one in the video did. We cut off and left 10 feet of good log uh, for sawing. And then uh, we pulled the tops out and got them out of the woods right away. But uh, since we cut these ones down, uh, more have blown over. Uh, this is a kind of a sandy knoll and a swamp area, so the ground isn't as strong. Uh, as in most areas so these trees tend to get a little bit more root rot and uh, they end up blowing over uh, actually a few every year this woods uh, has been managed the last 20 years or so so it's been managed quite heavily we're trying to get large seed trees and then a lot of undergrowth regeneration so here's our second uh, or third big silver maple that's blown over. This one has about a 10 foot tall um, root ball sticking on it. So this thing's uh, quite massive. It actually looks like it kicked backwards because the root ball is completely filled in um, behind it and then in the front here there's a big large gap in the soil. So I think this tree actually tipped over, snapped, and then pushed backward. So the first six feet of this log is actually just firewood, it's hollow. But then the next uh, 30 feet is all good quality saw logs, number ones. But they're all spalted heavily because they've been on the ground for two years. We haven't been able to get out in this woods to get them cleaned up. So this tree here... This is a big white oak. This one uh, fell over or snapped off completely. We, we, we cut it off at the stump here. We're cutting four feet off the base. It's got twisted grain, a little bit of rot, and a ton of taper on the first four feet. So we're just going to take that. As you can see, there's a bark inclusion down the, the center of that log. So this tree is really no good for sawing for the first four feet. Next we're going to cut an eight foot section out of this log. Um, I should be able to get some decent uh, straight grain out of this section and then we'll cut another eight foot log afterwards because this log has a slight bend in the center of it as well so we're trying to yield as much quality lumber as possible. Uh, we've been doing this a long time so we know how to uh, get the most yield out of our logs before we even get them up to the sawmill. Uh, it's just best to cut them out in the woods um, and get your full yield. Otherwise we typically pull full tree lengths out into a landing and then we'll cut them up out there. But uh, this woods we've got it to a point where we don't want to disturb the soil anymore. We want to pick up the trees and take them out of the woods in an efficient way without uh, damaging any of our soil. We have plenty of young pines coming up as well as young oaks and maples so we're trying to get the next generation ready to come in and we don't want to come in and have a timber trail where we're pulling timber out and disturb any more soil than we have to so that's why we're using the forwarder today uh, we're just doing selective management on this uh, 
40 acres and we're just going to pull out what we think uh, needs to come out mostly just blowovers and snap offs and uh, wind damaged trees so um, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the videos and uh, I hope to see you on the next one uh, we're just going <clears> to <throat> take these logs back up to the sawmill and then hopefully uh, we'll do a video of me sawing this white oak and I will be doing a video of sawing that first big spalted maple that I got um, I'm excited to see what's inside that after just sitting for was it two years with no uh, top on it and just standing there out in the woods I'm sure it's spalted real nicely um, I don't know how uh, the spalt is affected by having the uh, the stump uh, still attached to it so I'm excited to see what it looks like and I hope it's uh, some pretty grain and I hope to see you guys on that video thanks for watching and please subscribe for more sawmill and lumber content at uh, timbertails at or sawmill um, we got a lot of exciting things we're trying to do uh, and I hope you guys come and tag along and see all the stuff we're trying to do at or sawmill We'll see you on the next one.